Hello everyone. My name is Alex and in this video, I will show you how to edit your resume in Google Docs. Those are the steps that we will follow. Make a copy of each template after opening it. Go to File and click Make a Copy. Name your file and create new separate folder on your Google Drive to keep everything in order. To do it click on the icon on the left bottom corner. Give it a name and hit select. Here we go. Your template should open in new tab. I prepared the list of shortcuts. You can also download it and print it, I put the link under this video. Each Google Docs template is based on invisible table. It means that it's designed for a particular text size that needs to fit within the table. In order for tables to work correctly in Google Docs a line space is needed before and after them. With that said let's start editing our template. To start changing text click and drag to select it and remove it by pressing backspace or delete button on your keyboard. Now you can type your own text. Or you can copy text from a different file and paste it here. I will explain how to do it in the next step. Because when you copy text from a different document, you will also copy its font style. Let's say you have your old resume and want to use it. Copy text by pressing Ctrl Command C for copy. Go back to the template and paste it by pressing Ctrl V. To copy text style from another paragraph, select a part of it and press Ctrl Alt C or Command Option C. Then select the text you want to apply the style and press Ctrl Alt V or Command Option B. It looks good now. You may want to change the font in your resume. To do so select text you want to change, hold Ctrl or Command to select multiple non-contiguous text. Then click here and select the font you want to apply to your text. Click plus to increase font size. Ctrl or Command Z if you want to go back. To change the picture in your template you need to select it and click on Edit icon below. The drawing tool will open. Again select the picture and click Replace Image. Then select the picture from your computer. If you want to crop your picture you can do it inside Google Docs. Double click on your picture. This box will appear. And now you can drag the corner to make it bigger and move it to correct position. Just like so. When you are done click save and close. I think it's fine like this. Now I will show you how to add horizontal line. Place the cursor where you want your line to be. Go to insert. Horizontal line. You can divide your text that way. The line may not be the length we want so we can quickly fix it here. And move it slightly here. It seems to look good now. To replace the icon you need to first open the file with extra icons that you received together with the template. Go to file and click make a copy. Give it a name. And save it on your Google Drive. You can use the same folder as for your resume or create the new one. It's very important to make a copy of each file. So make sure not to forget about it. Once you are done the file with icons will open in the new tab of your browser. Great! Now we can select the icon we want to place in our template. Press Ctrl Command C and go back to our resume. Then select the icon you want to be replaced and press Ctrl Command V to paste the new one. Here we go! To save your resume as PDF go to File Download as PDF Document. If you don't have automatic downloads on your computer just click the download icon up here and save your resume. Unfortunately Google Docs is not a perfect software for exporting PDF format. 
due to compressing issues the quality of the picture in your resume can be poor after exporting to PDF. So far there are not many ways to fix it. I will show you the easiest solution. You need to have Chrome browser on your computer. Open it and paste the link to your template up in the search bar. Once your template is open press Ctrl or Command P. As you can see my picture didn't lose its quality. Select save as PDF save. Then give it a name and choose the location on your computer. In case you need a link to download Chrome browser, I will put it down in the description box. To merge multiple PDFs go to pdfjoiner.com and select files you want to be merged. Don't forget to put them in the correct order. If your future employer requires let's say a resume and a cover letter you should always apply with only one file. Click join files and your merged PDF should automatically download to your computer. So here we are. I hope it was super easy and you enjoyed the whole process. Good luck and don't forget to leave us your feedback. Bye bye guys.